Good morning. My name is Yiting, and I'm here to present the paper titled PMK Lab GCN Optimizing for Accuracy and Popularity Match in Course Recommendation. This is a work done by me, Hong Chang, and Prof. Ken. Most existing course recommenders optimize for accuracy. However, the question we want to ask is whether accuracy optimization optimizes user experience as well. The answer seems to be no based on existing studies. When students are introduced to relevant courses that are previously unknown, they are likely to prefer the relevant new courses over the original course plan. The fact that they can improve their experience suggests to us accuracy is not the best metric for user experience. So how can we incorporate both dimensions in course recommendation? We propose a multi-objective course recommender with accuracy optimization as the first objective and user experience optimization as the second. So how can we measure user experience? To answer the question, we conducted a small-scale user study in which we found out that students demonstrated disparate interests towards elective courses. Some consistently prefer popular ones, whereas others favor niche ones. Therefore, we conclude student satisfaction is very closely related to whether the recommended course popularity can match their interests. Therefore, instead of user experience optimization, we send out a proxy and they will be performing preference popularity match measured using a self-proposed metric that will be introduced later. Now let's delve into objective one, accuracy optimization. In this study, we used the dataset consisting anonymized listing of course enrollments from our institution. Both course ID and student ID are masked due to privacy concerns. We first did a preliminary study in which we experimented with non-domain specific models and we had some very interesting findings. KN models demonstrate uncommon superiority which suggests the possibility that there is a close alignment between the nature of cost consumption and the underlying inductive bias of KNN models. To better understand the outstanding performance of KNN models, we compared it with the best performing deep learning model like GCN and identified two factors that contribute to Adam KNN's success. The first one being the importance of pairwise relations, and the second being its focus on close neighbors. Inspired by these two characteristics, we proposed our own model, KLAG GCN, for accuracy optimization. To construct KLAG GCN, we first compute the similarity matrix for students and courses using the LAG GCN embedding. Next, we will be computing the differences between two sets of similarity metrics, one computed using LED-GCN embedding, the other set computed by the KNN models. Moving on, the computed differences will be added into the original BPR loss to form the new loss of this revised component. Lastly, we will be combining the revised LED-GCN component with the atom KNN component to form our KLAG GCN. KLAG GCN outperforms the other models in terms of both accuracy metrics, which validates the importance of focusing on pairwise relations and close neighbors. Now let's go into the second objective, preference popularity match. First, let us introduce how we quantify popularity and preference. So we define course popularity as a log of the average enrollment of a course and student preference as average of the course popularity taken previously. Here are the varying plots showing the distribution. We highlighted the top 25 percentile in orange and we can see that a small group of courses form the most popular ones. And on the other hand, because students often take very popular core courses, with a small set of niche electives, most of them have a pretty high preference score. Now let me introduce how we measure preference popularity match performance with our own proposed popularity preference mismatch at K-metric, 
This metric computes the average difference between the target student's preference and popularity of top K courses recommended. We propose preference match K electrician or PM K electrician in short as our multi objective course recommender. To achieve the first objective, we take top 50 recommendations by K electrician for the target student. To incorporate the second objective, preference popularity match, we then sort the top 50 recommendations based on the difference between popularity of the recommended courses and student preference. And then we will only be keeping the top 10 courses with popularity closest to target student's preference as a final recommendation. Here's the model performance. We can see that PMK Lectician achieves a 17% reduction in preference popularity mismatch at a cost of only 4% in hit ratio editing, which validates its performance in balancing for both objectives. In conclusion, in this study, we showcase the special nature of cost recommendation and also propose a multi-objective cost recommender optimizing for accuracy and preference popularity match, as well as balancing for both objectives. However, this is only the tip of the iceberg. In the future, some promising directions include exploring alternative representations of student preference and also conducting more extensive user study if the data allows. Last but not least, I would like to end the presentation with a thought-provoking question raised by one of my reviewers. As cost recommender researcher, how should we define the role of cost recommender in tertiary education? Should we purely cater to students' preferences or should we expose them to causes that educators think are more useful? What are the implications in this bigger picture? With that, I have come to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much and please feel free to contact us if you are keen for more discussion.